Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you show up in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Atlanta. Uh, today, I'm just going to go over two factors um, that search engines consider because uh, I want to keep this video short, but I want to run a couple of things by you. But before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google and basically it does a monthly count of search terms. And what you're looking at here is basically an average of how many people are searching for limo service in Atlanta over the last four months. I went from February on back. And let's just see how many we got here. This rounds it up to the nearest tenth or 100. So in November, there was 1,300. 1,000 in December, down to a little below 500 in January, back up to 1,000 for February. That's a lot of people searching for limo service, okay? So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over here to Google, did a search for limo service in Atlanta. This here is page, page one, okay? <clears throat> Let's see where I find you. You are over here. Right now you're on page two, okay? So again, I, I said I just want to talk about two factors that search engines consider. They obviously consider more than two, but we're going to keep this short. And what I'm going to do is compare you with somebody on this page using those factors. And I want to see if there's any differences. And if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it that can help you out and move you up in search results. So for comparisons, we're going to use Hennessy Transportation. Let's go look at the first factor, okay? First factor I'm going to discuss today is something called citations. A citation is a listing for your business in a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? And I'm going to give you an example. This site here goes out and finds directory sites. Here's one called Local Dispatch, all right? So if Paragon Limousine had a listing in Local Dispatch, name, address, phone number listing, that's considered one citation, okay? Now, search engines like citations. The more, the better. If they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Okay. Now, at the top of this page, we actually are doing citation count. I can put your business in here, and it gave me a count of 89 citations. That's pretty good. Hennessy has 130, so there's a bit of a difference there. But the good news is, we can quickly and easily get added to these directory sites. So this number 89, we can get that well up into the 100s in short order. And when we do that, it's definitely going to give you a nice positive impact in terms of search results. You definitely are going to move up from where you're at right now, okay? That's just citations. Now, so I've got the second factor I want to talk about today. The second factor is something called backlinks. Now, backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, there was a website called atlantalimosupplies.com and on that website they had a link to paragonlimousine.com and obviously that goes to your website that's considered one backlink okay search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations again for similar reasons they feel it makes you more legitimate legitimate as a business therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do now this website here actually goes out and does a backlink count for your site and I put you in there and the number we want to look at is unique active it's telling me you have 16 unique active backlinks let's go look at Hennessy and they have 38 so that's twice as many as you so here's here's what we can do about that though <laughs> there's good news <clears throat> we can add backlinks to your site all right we probably only need to add like 10 good quality backlinks what we want to do is get this score up. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. And it's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The better and stronger the website, the higher that score is going to be. Okay? We really want it closer to high 20, low 30%. If you look at Hennessy, there's this 30%. So, again, if we just added 10 good quality backlinks from good quality sites and get this score up to low 30%, that would be huge for you. You definitely would move up in search rankings, okay? It would definitely have a good, positive impact for you. More people would see you. It should result in more phone calls and more business. Now, again, we just talked about two things today so far. 
citations and backlinks. But you can see there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google. You also are seeing that there are steps we can take to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, have a nice, giant, positive impact in terms of where you show up in search results. Definitely gets you to move up in rankings. All right? So I hope you found this was helpful. Uh, this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. Okay, so if you want more information about what I talk about today, that's free. If you want more information about other factors I cover with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. All right, so <clears throat> if you want, give me a holler. Uh, you know, call me. My phone number's in the email. Or uh, you can reply to my email, and we can go from there. Hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye now.